As a regional and inclusive natural history society, our activities bring together an extraordinary range of passionate and talented individuals interested in botany, ornithology, earth scientists, invertebrates and more. We provide a forum for everyone interested in natural history, beginners, experts, specialists and generalists, whilst also welcoming those interested in cultural heritage, in creative writing, art and poetry, and in social heritage, the stories and memories of naturalists and organisations who have contributed to our understanding of nature in North East England. I think it's important in helping you develop skills and also meeting new people within the field and getting experience working alongside an actual organisation. Um, it's helped me out a lot being involved. So I've had a lot of opportunities given to me that I've developing my CV and developing my skills at the same time as feeling like I'm doing something good to help out a really nice organisation. Obviously it sounds cliche but I have loved working here with the people. Um, I think I was a bit concerned when I first came because I knew that there was a certain you know kind of demographic or even not, not even demographic but I think I just didn't know if I would fit in with my lack of kind of naturalist background and expertise. Um, and actually everyone's been really, really welcoming and they, you know, acknowledge the fact that I'm a beginner and everything to do with Northeast nature, but despite that I'm able to get really involved and get on with everyone and they teach me so much every single day just through having conversations with people in the library or with the archives, you know, I've just been learning things about so many different subjects I've never even thought of before, so that's been a really nice kind of involvement. NHSN brings together knowledge regarding our region's flora, fauna and geology. Our library and archive make knowledge and history and heritage accessible and ensure important knowledge and insight is not lost. These represent a treasure trove of information, a vital resource that enables us to use the past to inform management, research and action in the present. And when I volunteered in the library and you're handling books of, that belong to Thomas Buick, uh, John Gould, all the greats, John Ray, uh, you're picking them off the shelves. What did they write 200 years ago? And these are the things that you must preserve. And it's, it's even that tactile thing of touching the books, touching, touching history, um, and relating to the, the history of natural history. Fascinating. Managed by NHSN since 1929, Gosforth Park Nature Reserve is one of the oldest nature reserves in North East England and remains to this day a semi-wild oasis in the heart of urban Tyneside. Home to biodiversity unrivalled on a local scale, the importance of the site for wildlife is matched only by its value to people. To this day, the reserve remains one of the only sites in the northeast of England and managed entirely by a team of dedicated volunteers. This really is the heart and lungs of the, the local area because with the, the trees and the, the, the plant life, uh, people complain about you know, pollution problems and these areas like these absorb a huge amount of carbon out of the atmosphere and pollutants um, and it's the last sort of retreat for a lot of the local wildlife. Today we are presented with a very new set of problems. A climate emergency alongside massive declines in biodiversity, pollution, increasing urbanisation and growing public disconnection with the natural world. We believe that the only way to remedy this is to ensure that today's generation and those still to come care about nature. To me, uh, NHSN is very much a learning organisation and obviously an important part of that learning is engaging young people very early on. Um, I think we try to open their eyes to what's around them and hopefully some of our passion for what we see around us will come across to them as well. Uh, and I also think it might help them to engage their parents and grandparents, perhaps haven't been here. If we get them on board, they get the rest of their family on board. But it's also very important for our future as well. If these young people engage with us now, they might well use that passion they get early to help our planet survive and this wonderful place here at Gosforth to survive well. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, NHSM was a pioneer in making the natural world accessible to young people. Now, we continue to support young people through our Lantern Fund. Thanks to the generosity of donors, we enable groups to experience and learn about the natural world and manage our nature reserve as a place of learning for school and community groups. 
I just think it's been amazing for them. Like, I th obviously, we've always tried to offer trips, but these have been completely different. Like, there's something different to what other youth projects offer. They're different to what they've, they've experienced in the past. Um, and I just think that kind of getting them out to places where they've never been before. A lot of them have never left the northeast, which to me that's like tragic. Like that, that they've never left sort of Newcastle or even just their local area. So to get them down to the beach or um, to get them out here at the Farne Islands has been like a treat really to be able to do that for them um, and they've got so much out of it. Some of them might whinge like about the flies or about sort of the, the being out and not having their phones and stuff. They've all got their phones but you don't really see them looking at it and I think that's been the, the real benefit of just showing them that there is something else. They don't have to do that kind of thing that they've been ploughed into of being on their phones, not really talking to people, not getting out and enjoying stuff because they feel the calmness out here. One of the boys just on the boat just said like he was just sat and just said look, look how calm it is and I think when their lives are so turbulent and there's so much going on for them to get something that gives them that and to learn about stuff while they're out here just really benefits them and is good for them and I really we can't thank the Natural History Society and the Lantern Fund enough for giving them that opportunity really. Keen to support emerging naturalists we also offer opportunities to early career scientists to deliver public talks and gain recognition for their volunteering through our Student Naturalist Award Scheme. So in today's society, people are becoming far more disconnected um, from nature. Um, people often don't know where their food comes from or can't name common birds and plant species. Um, I think the Natural History Society is important to raise awareness of the value of uh, natural history to everyday people and to those surrounding them. And it has huge benefits from just uh, general well-being um, to encouraging people to, to get out and explore more. Uh, in the scientific community, we learn uh, from other people's findings. Um, and the Natural History Society gives the opportunity to learn from other people to um, perhaps find out about a species um, that you didn't know about before or perhaps learn about how something has evolved um, in, in sort of very strange and unusual ways. Um, and the diverse nature of the Natural History Society means that there's a huge uh, broad sort of collective knowledge that everyone can tap into.